And the Ohio Department of Health found three staff members at a Beechwood nursing home conspired to submit false COVID-19 testing samples to ensure those tests would come back negative. An ODH report says they did this even though residents were showing symptoms of the virus. The investigation into Menorah Park's Montefiore nursing home was originally brought to light by Cleveland Jewish News. And our Jesse Schultz, she's been sorting through the state's findings and she joins us live now. Hey, Jesse. Hey, yeah, the state's investigation revealed that a nurse here blew the whistle and said that staff may have submitted false COVID lab samples back in October. That led to the firing of three employees here, but it also led family members of loved ones who contracted COVID-19 while in the care of the nursing home demanding some answers. Kayla Lubitz's mom, Rana, had been a resident of Montefiore for 10 years. She was a really good person. She had a big heart. Her mom had MS and other health issues. So when the pandemic hit, they were both concerned but not panicked. I never had any other reason to you know, to doubt what they were doing and taking care of them. A state health department report says residents of Montefiore's Mandel Unit 3 began to show COVID symptoms around mid-October. But the October 13th test of 34 residents returned 33 negative results. The investigation concluded three employees falsified those results. Lubitz says her mom received multiple negative COVID test results during the pandemic. And while Lubitz says her mom was not a Mandel 3 resident, she said her last test felt different. Mom mentioned and maybe took a step back and thought about it for a second of Maybe they weren't testing me properly. On Thursday, November 5th, that last test came back positive. The next day, her mom was moved to the hospital. Only a day later, Lubitz got the call that no one wants to hear. All of her vital organs were just shutting down. And I had to make the, the difficult decision that no child ever wants to have to make for their parents of oh, essentially, okay, go ahead and, and pull it. Too fast for Lubitz to even say goodbye. And I couldn't, I couldn't be there. I couldn't go to the nursing home. I couldn't go to the hospital to be with her and she was all by herself. And I think that's the hardest part for me is her child is that she was alone. Now she wants answers. How long did her mom have COVID? I mean, after all these months of testing, supposedly testing negative and all of a sudden testing positive, and then she's gone within 48 to 72 hours. And if positive residents were isolated, how did she contract the virus? If it was due to negligence, if it was due to you know, not following protocol or falsifying tests or whatever the case might be. However, my mom got it. I just want someone to be able to answer to it. The state has imposed a plan of correction for Montefiore, including education for staff and new testing protocol. But for Lubitz, it's not enough. She didn't deserve this and this wasn't this wasn't supposed to happen this way. I miss her. I'm going to always miss her. Now we reached out to Montefiore for comment on Friday. A spokesperson said that they are cooperating with investigations that have arisen from their own self reporting and cannot comment at this time, but we'll follow up reporting live in Beachwood tonight. Jesse Schultz, News 5.